spent a lot of time and money looking for it. Tom joins us now in our Calgary studio. Hello, Tom. Hello. Well, do you believe he's out there? Not 100%, no. Why are you looking for him, then? It's a great mystery and a great adventure. Do you, do you expect that you're going to f find the answer when you, uh, either one way or the other, sometime during your search? If the Sasquatch does indeed exist, I think we'll probably uh, find the answer within the next 10 or 15 years. If it doesn't exist, we won't find anything. It's safe to say, then, that you've never seen the Sasquatch? No, I've never seen one. Some people have, or at least they think they have. What, uh, what, what kind of a story do you often hear from people who say, I saw him, I'm sure of it? Well, most of the time I, I get a lot of cranks and practical jokes, but uh, people who actually believe they've seen one, uh, it's usually a very brief encounter, uh, and it, they saw something, uh, they didn't know what it was, it shook them up very badly, and they basically tell me the story and uh, let me draw my own conclusions based on the description of the animal they saw. And the descriptions are usually the same. Mm -hmm. Um, now, we have brought with us here some, th these aren't props. Where have these come from? And I'm just going to hold up, I guess, this one first. This is a mold, I gather, from, uh, I'm not sure where to hold that to, of a Sasquatch? Yes, th these footprints were found in Bosburg, Washington, northeastern Washington state, in 1969-70. And it's become known as the Bosburg Cripple because you have the both footprints from the animal here, and that right foot you're looking at the bottom of the feet, is crippled. And what you have is a foot that's distorted lengthwise, bent. It's missing one toe. Mm -hmm. But the more, one of the more convincing things about it is those two bulges on the outer edge. I mean, can we be sure that uh, an animal made this at all? Uh, that it, A, isn't just, I don't know, a funny shaped thing that might look almost like a foot or something that somebody didn't just make, push, you know, put an imprint on the ground and say, we'll see if we can catch anybody with this. Well, this is one of the better pieces of, the, of evidence we have, like those two bulges there represent space in between bones. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it says, shows us, is that it was a foot designed with different leverage. Well, now, what's, uh, what does that mean? What's the significance of that? Well, a uh, longer heel, a shorter forepaw. In other words, this is the way a human foot would be if humans naturally weigh between 600 and 800 pounds. Is it, do some people believe that, that uh, this is the missing link uh, between what humans were at one time, or is this something, I mean, where, where, do, where would a Sasquatch fit into the scheme of evolution? There are, there are a lot of theories. There are a lot of theories as to where the Sasquatch fits into the fossil record. One of the ones I tend to go along with, and I point out this is all theory, uh, is uh, the remains of an animal that were found in northern China in the early 30s that now go under the name Giganopithecus which was a huge Asian ape that lived in the area of northern China maybe a million years ago. Mm -hmm. And the theory is that Giganopithecus crossed the land bridge between Asia and Alaska at the same time the ancestors of our native people did. Is there only supposed to be one Sasquatch out there? No, th if there's one, there have to be hundreds. A species of creature. And, and where would they be living? Like where in North America are they most likely to be? Uh, well, most reports from North America and the accepted area for sightings is the Pacific Northwest, the United States, and Canada. Uh, e e these slopes of the Rocky Mountains west. So if you have hundreds of them, if, the, if there have to be hundreds of them for, I guess, the species to be surviving, and they're 600 to 800 pounds, why don't we have more evidence? Like, why don't we have Sasquatch droppings being found by hikers and things of that sort? Well, hair samples and fecal matter have been turned in, but th we don't have a Sasquatch to compare it to. So all they can say, if they can't identify it, they, well, that's all they can tell you is they can't identify it. So you're saying that there have been hair samples of a, of a, a creature that they can't identify is not necessarily of a Sasquatch, but they can rule out that it's anything else? Yes. Really? Yes. And fecal droppings as well? Yes, fecal droppings they can't identify. But usually with, with fecal matter, all they can really can tell you is what the thing ate. They mm -hmm. can't tell you really what it came from. All they can do is tell you what it ate. The tabloids love stories about <laughs> Bigfoot. Yeah. What does, and when they say Bigfoot found, I mean, what does that do for the credibility of your kind of search for Bigfoot or Sasquatch? I hate it when they do things like this because it puts them in the, the realm of the weird and the wonderful. And uh, there are a lot of people who portray themselves as serious investigators, but they're what we call the lunatic fringe. Uh, they say they believe in Sasquatch, but they connect them with UFOs and Elvis Presley and all kinds of other weird and wonderful things. And, and of course, and they get a lot of attention from the popular press. 
I'll just hold this foot up as well here for us. What is this supposed to be? This is this seems a little bit smaller than what we were looking at a moment ago, and yet it's still mighty big. That's a casting from the Patterson Film site. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a, a film shot by Sasquatch hunter Roger Patterson mm -hmm. in the Bluff Creek area of Northern California in 1967. You may have seen it in, in uh, documentaries about Sasquatch. I think I may have played basketball with a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Could have fit that. <laughs> Um, what would you do if you saw a Sasquatch? What would I do? Yeah. Well, if, uh, okay, here's where I keep getting into trouble all the time. Um, the science community says we have to have hard physical evidence. And when I want, whenever I ask them what hard physical evidence is, they say a body or a piece of a body. Nothing else will do. So? so shoot one. Uh, to kill? Absolutely. Can you not get a, I don't know, a, a gun of the type they use to bring down elephants and uh, kind of put them put to sleep or something? Well, then it would be dissected anyway by the scientific community. They, they need a body or a piece of body. If we could find oh, the no, physical... I mean, I mean, surely they wouldn't, they wouldn't then turn around and kill it. They'd want to keep it alive if you had one alive, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm not sure what they would do. I, I, wouldn't, I can't imagine anyone, especially since it's only... Since the beginning of time, it's been individuals on their own time and their own money. Mm -hmm. I, I sure as heck wouldn't want to tangle with an angry one and try and bring them in alive. Um, we mentioned about, you mentioned some of the physical evidence we've seen, and yet we don't, uh, there are so many people out there, and as we say, it's such a big a animal. I guess it's an animal. Um, why don't we have more videotape? There just seems to be that few seconds that everyone has seen of this mm -hmm. animal that kind of strolling off into the woods, looks back over its shoulder, mm -hmm. and that way it goes, that. yeah. There have been other videos taken, but the, the animal is usually so far away, it, it doesn't amount to anything. And since there's only a handful of people even looking, a lot of people have the mistaken impression that there's battalions of scientists out looking for this thing, and that is simply not the case. Do you, th uh, you say it's going to happen in the next 10 or 15 years if, it's, if it is going to be found? I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. And what, are you hoping that uh, there is a Sasquatch out there? Oh, I'd love it if there was. Uh, it sure would give, uh, it would sure uh, turn the scientific world upside down. If it, it, it would be the discovery of the century is what it will be. And if it doesn't exist, well, it's worth looking into anyway because it's a great piece of Canadian folklore. Okay, Tom Steenberg, thanks for dropping by with your molds and uh, good luck. Thanks for having me. All right. Searching for the Sasquatch may sound adventurous, but others like to find their adventure elsewhere.